What is up guys? My name is Sim Yen. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? Anyway guys, today's video is going to be talking about The Sims 4 needing way more competition because again guys, it's been just a repeat after repeat after repeat and we want, we all want something new. We're all ready for something new. Now, if we have gone to the Twitter, we do know that, you know, it's anticipated for the summit for next month or actually this month as of lately and a lot of people are in just speculation but again, it's just been the same kind of repeat energy over and over and over again a lot of people are like we need something new we are tired of the same bs with the sims 4 and i honestly think they have so much potential to turn the sims 4 around but it's just going to waste it's at, at this point if they keep the same energy that they're going the sims 5 will be killed off before it even starts and that's what i'm so afraid of because i feel like they're they drag the sims 4 for so long that the community is sick and tired of being sick and tired of this false potential that they keep advertising as if it's going to happen so i don't know but you know, as of lately, I've been thinking competition is kind of a strong word, but we do know of upcoming simulation games such as Paralives. This one's actually huge. Honestly, if you haven't heard of this, you are living under a rock. Um, so Paralives is actually just an upcoming simulation game, actually for PC and Mac, and this is very indie. You can build your own dream house, create some characters, and manage their lives the way you want inside their homes. And just, it's supposed to be an open world and open town. Now, this does have a lot of speculation saying, could this be too good to be true? I I don't know i feel like there is a lot of pressure on paralyzed when it comes down to especially the sims 4 community looking at them because we have such a very specific way on how we want the game running and what we want from a game that i do feel like they're taking advice from the sims community but i feel like the sims 4 community is putting pressure on their backs when it comes down to this game better be it when it comes out and i actually have a video on that if you guys want to go check that out titling you know are we putting too much pressure on paralyzed because i do you think it's possible that we are? Um, now, there's a lot of other games going out right now, such as Dreamlight Valley actually just came out recently, and a lot of people were actually really into this, and uh, people were scared when it first came out because they were scared of the microtransactions, but the fact that it's open world and you can do different things, and it's honestly a simulation game, but for like Disney, and honestly, come on now, I, I, I see the correlation, but I just feel like it just doesn't match up to The Sims 4 specifically. I can see why people People like this if you guys are into simulation games but at the same time I just don't feel like it has that I don't want to say competition because Dreamlight Valley is its own game, Pair Lives is its own game, any game that I'm naming is its own game, and The Sims 4 is The Sims 4. So when I say competition, I mean similarity. And I do feel like at some point Dreamlight Valley has it, but again, I haven't played it yet, so maybe I'll do a video on that. I'm just not too sure if this falls into the same category. Now I do want to talk about Arnie's workshop. He's actually an ex-modder for The Sims 4, and he was actually really known for a lot of his work. He did a lot of like cool things when it came down to helping us out to make the sims 4 better he actually ended up leaving because he just didn't like the overall not necessarily the community but more so the game consistently breaking him having to start all over and honestly he had his own works of wanting to start his own game and i'm so excited for this because very very talented person when it came down to modding in the sims and very very talented when it comes down to look at this untitled game project that he's working on this is what the sims 4 could have been if they actually did it right and so what he's doing is taking what he's learned with modding and creating his own game this is what i mean by competition and this is what i mean by similarity he even like made this fake world of like the harry potter because we all know the harry potter um game is coming out very soon and just to showcase what he can do i'm ready for for this this is the kind of things i mean when i say i want some competition when it comes down to the sims 4 i'm ready for something new and we're i think we all are at this point now if you guys haven't heard of the ranchers the ranchers is like an open world country life um, simulation game which is actually multiplayer you can like raise animals grow crops craft machines build your dream house explore the like you know just this just huge gigantic world you know you can even like have villagers friends and like even find love and start a family this is the next thing i feel like could be big now again it's not out just yet i think it's still on early access um or and i also believe wish list but there's just a couple of things that this game in particular has that i'm very very interested in and i just feel like it can't come out any sooner now i do feel like the reason that of course recently that we've all heard about the sims summit that's coming out soon 
I feel like EA is trying to hurry up because a lot of these games are coming out in 2023 when it comes down to release dates and very similar competition. And I just feel like they're trying to hurry up and release like an announcement of The Sims. We don't know. We don't know if it's going to be a five. We don't know what it's going to be. But I just feel like they're doing this just to be ahead of the game and being like, let me break the barrier before they try to next year. So with that being said, I also want to get into House Flipper. Now, House Flipper is very similar when it comes down to The Sims as far as building. A lot of people actually say that sims 4 is a builder's game more than the actual gameplay itself just because of the aspects of that the fact that there is really no gameplay in the sims 4 no matter how much we do we have to rely on modders and cc creators to help complete the game which is unfortunate and i do feel like house flipper is somewhat on the lines of competition but it's still not giving i just want to know what do you guys think down below is an actual competition similarity game again when I mean competition, I mean in the sense of, can I see myself playing this over The Sims 4 all the time? I just feel like there is not a game exactly like The Sims 4. And of course, there's not an exact game like The Sims 4 because The Sims is its own franchise. Every game is different. But I feel like when it comes down to that similarity and when it comes down to just this free will aspect of the game i feel like we can't find it anywhere else and i feel like that's why the sims 4 is so successful still till this day regardless of all the backlash regardless of all the controversy they've done regardless of the lack of gameplay or the lack of this or that they have promised us and told us countless times there is just still nothing holding there's something able to knock them down from the first play the first place role and it's true. If we can even, even if like we're tired of The Sims 4, we still go to 3 or 2, or sometimes some of you guys even go to 1. There's still nothing like The Sims. So let me know down below in the comments. What do you guys think? Does The Sims 4 need more competition? Do you guys feel like there is a game that already that is? Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. And I'm actually really curious of, to hear what you guys have to say about this because I genuinely have been looking for a game very, very similar to this and I just can't find it. I can't find it or it doesn't come out till next year and I don't even know if it's still gonna match up to the level of free will that we have in this game you guys let me know down below in the comments what you guys think and I will see you guys all in the next video bye